Good day to you, Jill. Good day, Nick. What are we doing today? Today we are making pancakes. Okay. So what do we need to make traditional Yorkshire pancakes? Very easy. Three main ingredients. First of all, we need somebody that was born and bred in Yorkshire. Carry on. Plain flour. Right. Eggs. Milk. Okay. What else? Pinch of salt. In. Is that? Mrs. Claus. We had a Mr. Claus, a Santa, but we broke him. Oh. He was very peppery. She's very salty. Right. And some oil for the frying pan. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, equipment: frying pan, frying pan, dish, a yeah. bowl, wooden spoon. Um, whisk. You're very shaky hand just then. I'm sorry. Whisk and a. Right. You can do it the easy way and put them into a food mixer. Mm. Whisk them up. Take seconds. Well, I'm going to show the way I was brought up to do it in Yorkshire. Yeah. That was by hand. Okay, okay. I normally do this um, by eye. I very rarely weigh anything, but I have got, if you need to, I have to recommend these. If you see Heston Blumenthal uh, weighing scales made by Salter, absolutely fantastic. And if you need to know roughly how much flour you use, I can show you. It's approximately two tablespoons. bringing in a little bit of the flour each time. This is to ensure that you do not get lumps in your pancakes. So this stage is really important and you only start to add the milk when you literally cannot add any more flour into it. And it's getting really stiff at this point. Right now, at this point, I would add a little bit, and you just need a little to start with. And again, mix it into this mixture, bringing in the flour little by little. And you can see that I'm going quite fast. This is to beat any lumps out that may have formed. A little bit more milk. Okay. okay, now at this point, beat it really well. It gets air into the mixture and it gets lumped out of the mixture. Nice smooth consistency. Now add a little bit more milk. You can't add a lot at this point because if you do and start stirring it's going to splash everywhere. So stir it in gently. We're almost at the whisking stage here. As soon as it gets to a point where it's thin enough, you can whisk. Which is a lot easier than the wooden spoon. Okay, I'm going to change over to the whisk. Okay, make sure you've got all your mixture off the spoon. And whisk that. See how much easier that is. Add a little bit more milk. Now you're adding milk at this point to get the consistency you're after. If you like your pancakes a little bit thicker, um, obviously your mixture is going to be thicker. If you like them thinner, more crepe type pancakes, which we prefer, you make it thinner. It's actually the consistency of a, a roundabout double cream.
Now this is quite thick at this point, it's a little bit too thick for our liking. My daughter actually likes them like this and she can make them, she makes little ones around the frying pan. So if you like them like that, a little bit thicker, not filling the whole pan, then this is where you will need to be at this point. However, you need to add a little bit more. This is semi skim milk. If you've got full fat milk, you can have half milk, half water. Okay. Okay, now that there, I'll show you with a spoon. There we go. This is the right consistency for our pancakes. And as you can see, lots of bubbles, no lumps. Right, now pour it into a jug now. Okay. And you need just a little oil. Um, the better the nonstick pan you can use, the easier it will be. If you just add a little bit, that's enough oil. Heat that so it's very hot, and um, I'll clear away while it's heating. As the oil gets hotter, it starts to move around. Just move it around the pan, keeping the pan on the heat. Again, very much depends on how non-stick your non-stick pan is. Add the mixture from the centre and this is until about that much. It will continue to spread and what I do at this point is just to pick the pan up gently so you're raising it slightly off the heat and just move it around. What this does is it makes the pancake bigger but also makes the uh, mixture more even distribution throughout the pancake okay that's perfect so now we leave it and what will happen is you'll see that as it starts to cook and becomes almost ready to turn over the edges will start to come away you now need in an on-stick pan obviously a wooden spatula now when you've been making these for many years you just get used to knowing when they're ready to turn over but if you don't, you know, as you can see, it's starting to dry out. What you want is a mixture dry so there's no more wet liquid on there as you move the pan. You can. It's not quite there yet. If you've got a really non-stick pan, <laughs> it will move. Still not ready. What will happen is that you will spend more time cooking one side than the other side because as the pancake cooks on its first side, it cooks through the pancake. So really when you're flipping it over for the other side, all you're really doing is sealing the other side and browning it off a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can get underneath this one now and have a look. So you can check it by lifting it and looking. Right, at this point we'll flip it over. And there we go. Nicely cooked. I get a plate ready. See how it's cooking now, it's bubbling up a little bit, yeah. This is now cooked. I mean, if you're not sure again, you can always lift it up and have a look and you can see now it's moving around the pan really easily. So this pancake is now ready. I'll show you what it looks like on the other side.
found that interesting and um, informative and uh, if you're struggling to make pancakes or have no idea how to make Yorkshire pancakes then you'll know now. It's very easy. Bye bye.